Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Mal and I typically play cozy simulation type games. So if that sounds like something you would be interested in, I hope you guys will go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Also, you guys go ahead and hit that like button. We are going to have a great time today checking out a brand new game. Um, also, all of those little things help the channel grow, which is what we're going for. So thank you guys so much in advance. All right, so since we have a little break uh, between now and the next update with Disney Dreamlight Valley, I thought it would be a good time to check out Mail Time. So that is a fairly new game. It has come out on Steam. I think it's been a couple of weeks now and I have been so excited to try this out. So we are gonna go ahead and start a new game and see what this is all about. Okay, so we can create our little character here. I'm going to name mine Mal. Okay, we'll go over, my pronouns are she, her. Hairstyle. Okay, let's see. I think I like, I think I like the original, the braided pigtails. Blue is my favorite color, so I think I'll stick with that. Ooh, I kind of like that. Yeah, let's do that. skin tone okay. I think that's about right I do have a little bit of a reddish undertone so maybe I don't know we'll go with this one I don't want to make this too complicated all right outfit color Now, do we want to go matchy matchy with our hair? Oh, I really like that though. Ooh, in that. I don't know, you guys. Let me finish this up. <laughs> I won't make you guys sit through all this, but as you can see, if this is your first time checking this game out, um, these are all of the things that you can change. So we have your pronouns, hairstyle, hair color, skin tone, outfit color, your backpack. I'll just kind of cycle through those options really quickly. Just so you can see what they look like. All right, and then the backpack color. All right, and then you also get a glider. So here are those options as well. All right, but I'm gonna go back up and uh, figure out all of my options here and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, here we go. So I went back and changed the hair color. I was really kind of feeling this uh, lavender <laughs> color scheme we had going on so um, we changed the hair color I went with the kind of lavender outfit color same thing for the backpack and for our glider I went with oh it's not gonna let me do it unless I change it first uh, so I went with the very last one with the flower all right, so let's go ahead and jump into the game. All right, is that our mail truck? Are we there yet? No. How about now? 
No. What about... Stop. <laughs> I like Janet. Will you shut up if I tell you where we're going? Promise. Okay, now don't get too excited, but today is your first solo delivery. What? Yes! My ears! Oh, sorry. Right, so. <laughs> Alright, so we are going to be delivering on our own. Okay, so you've got it, right? Yep. Wait. No. One more time. Listen closely this time, then. You, you Mal, me Mal, need to deliver that letter in your backpack to someone named Greg. Okay, deliver letter to Greg. Since it's your first day on the job, first but not least, <laughs> right, yes, you probably know a bit about what it's like to be a male scout. Yes, sir, Janet. I mean, ma'am. I'm top of my class at Mail Academy. Or, well, I'm in the top 10. Ish. <laughs> but I'm ready to learn. Well, it's one thing to learn from the books, and another thing to learn in real life. Mail Scout Official Handbook, page 12. Good one, Janet. Try me on another one. Scout, what did we say about in the interrupting thing? Not to do it? Yes. Please try. Before you're ready to deliver your letter to Greg, we should do a practice run. See that turtle over there? I want you to give them this note from me. You might just get something special for it. In case you forgot how your legs work, you can use L to walk around. Aye, right, Captain Jan. Be right back. Alright, so we are moving around. And we also can move the camera. I am going to... Actually, I have no idea what buttons to press, so... I'm using an Xbox controller, and I did not see anything in the settings to tell me what buttons to press to do what. So we are just gonna wing it, I guess. Hi! Hi, are you here for an autograph? Uh, no. <laughs> Do I have to get mail signed before I can deliver it? I don't remember that from the handbook. Oh no. I meant do you want my autograph because I'm famous? Oh, what for? I'm a track star in training for my next race. Speedy Shelby, they call me. Your name is Shelby. Then this letter is for you. Oh, fan mail. Of sorts. Let's see it then. This is a fake letter. Just pretend that you're reading it. It's her first delivery. Oh, I see. Is that your supervisor over there? That's Janet. She's my boss. Or something like that. I'm not really sure. In that case, I accept this letter. It was delivered to me following Mail Scout protocol. I am ecstatic with the service I have received. <laughs> Five stars. No, wait. Four and a half stars. Why the four and a half? You didn't want my autograph. Poor Shelby. By the way, do you happen to know where Greg is? Not currently. My brain is on sport mode. Information irrelevant to exercise can't be accessed right now. Maybe Egbert knows. He's clever. Squirrel Man. Can't miss him. Asking around is the best way to find people around here. Hey, thanks for the tip. Bye, Shelby. 
Peace out, little scout. Alright, awesome. So we delivered our very first letter. Let's see what Janet has to say. Chief Janet, I'm back. She's still eating that sandwich. <laughs> I heard you gave the letter to Shelby. Huh? How'd you hear that? It wasn't easy to miss. Good job, Scout. That means you've earned your first patch. Alright, dear Scout, congrats. You've earned the Stamped and Signed Patch. Awesome. Oh my, it <laughs> should just fall down. So us scouts work on a patch system. Once you've done something noteworthy, you earn a patch for it. With every patch, you get a little bit closer to being a real mail scout. And you get a little bit better at mail delivery. For example, you might have noticed that you can jump by pressing A. Well, I did not notice that, but thank you for telling me. Well, by holding A, you can glide as well. Ooh. That's amazing. I'm literally never going to touch the ground ever again. Well, sure. Why not dream big? Anyways, when you deliver that letter to Greg, you'll get your official Mail Scout patch. You'll be a full Mail Scout for real. Hey, I can't wait. Good luck, Mal. I'll be here if you need me. Thanks, Mom. I mean, Mrs. Mail. I mean, Janet. Bye! Oh, don't forget. You can press Y to check your deliveries and patches in your handbook. Alright, kinda discovered that by accident. Alright, cool. So, Janet is our mom. Can we go in here? No. Alright, well let's just kind of run around and see what's up. Alright you guys, so I played around with the settings. I had to turn the um, automatic camera follow off. That was just, it was just not working at all. <laughs> so hopefully this will be a little better. Alright, here is Kiki. Mail Scout, come here. I need you to send a letter for me. <laughs> what you sending? A cease and desist. Uh-oh. To a child that crossed me. Well, that seems a bit overkill. I'll have you know, this child robbed me in broad daylight. I was walking with my coin collection. If the bag was open, I was letting the coins breathe the fresh air. Then I was interrupted by the vermin child. I think the name was Cedar. She was the glinting of light and oh, she saw the glinting of light and was fascinated by my coins. But I only had so long to walk before I had to get back to my business. The landlord business, you see. Truly time consuming. Anyway, I must say, seeing a young fellow coin enthusiast, it was nice. It's not a popular hobby around here. I generously offered that cedar admire my coins for one hour only and bring them back immediately. Well, that was dumb. Well, Scout, it's been 61 minutes and my paws are empty. Now I must resort to stronger measures or else this child will walk all over me. Nobody messes with Kiki. Well, don't you think this is disproportionate? Cedar's only a minute late. If you were paid to ask questions, wouldn't you be called a question scout? <laughs> oh, but you aren't a question scout. You're a male scout. And I have mail for Cedar. So why don't you run along and deliver it? Fine. I'm glad we agree. Oh boy. Alright, so we have got... We've got to find Greg, and we've got to find Cedar. So 
this little forest is so pretty. I have no idea where I'm going though. Alright, I feel like I'm gonna fall if I... Let's check out this gliding thing. Alright, cool. Uh-oh, uh-oh. We didn't make it. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure I saw someone up there. I don't think it was Greg or Cedar, but someone else to talk to. What's this? So, I feel like I'm going around in circles. I have no idea where we are. Maybe I should have asked Kiki if they knew where Greg was. Here, yeah, let's try that. You don't look like you're delivering mail. Even though I explicitly gave you a letter for Cedar. Why is that? Kiki, why are you being so hard on Cedar? Cedar's just a kid. Surely the two of you can talk this coin problem out. A word of advice. Never trust anybody. Especially not children. I didn't get this far in life by assuming people had good intentions. Oh, is it Kiki backstory time? Nope. <laughs> Just deliver my letter to Cedar and get my coins back, okay? Fine. Alright, well I was hoping I could ask about Greg, but it doesn't look like it. I think this is going back the way we came. Oh! Wait, is this Greg? No, that's Cedar. <laughs> I mean, depends. Who are you? I'm Mal the Mail Scout. In training. What was that last part? Nothing, nothing. Unfortunately, I have a not-so-nice letter for you from Kiki. Oh, crumbs. Kiki's gonna make a lucky rabbit foot charm out of me. I just know it. Why? If you give him his coin collection back, I'm sure this will all blow over. Oh, Kiki is a he. Oops. That's just the thing. I lost all the coins. I'm beginning to see the problem. I met Kiki while he was walking by here. As soon as I got my paws on the collection, I hopped off searching for a great spot to admire it. But I didn't realize the bag was still open. Now all the coins are lost, and I have no clue where they are. Please, can you help me? I'm afraid of what Kiki will do if I show up without them. Fret not, little bun. I'll get you those coins back. Oh, thank you so much. There were four coins in the collection. Please come back when you found them all. All right, we've earned the next day delivery patch. Awesome. Okay, so we've delivered our letter, but we need to find coins. What is this? Applewood. This should be good enough for carving, right? Okay. All right, now, okay, for cedar, we need to find earth flower, not sure what that word is, and a mushroom coin. Okay, some houses. Too bad we can't go and look inside. That's cool, though.
Okay, who is this? Oh, I think this is the squirrel guy we were supposed to be looking for to help us find Greg. Egbert. Sigh. Can't believe kids these days. Oh. Didn't see you there. You shouldn't sneak up on an old man like that. I'm right in front of you. Maybe you need glasses. I think he's wearing glasses. <laughs> Never mind. Well, let's have a look then. Who's this? Maybe I really do need new glasses. Beg your pardon. Who are you? Oh, no worries, sir. I'm new around this stretch of the wood. I'm a mail scout, here on official mail scout business. Mal, nice to meet you. Egbert, likewise. Well, don't let me distract you from your work. Okay, see ya. Unless... Unless what? Unless you'd be willing to help an old man out. Like a little side quest. See it as a way to gain experience. Well, our number one rule is to serve the community. Actually, it might be Rule 38. Anywho, what's the sitch? <laughs> sitch? Situation. You youngsters in your slang. Well, my upstairs neighbor is getting on my nerves. Seems to be in the nature of upstairs neighbors. They blast their rock music at the most tiresome hours. Like 8 p.m. And the noise is driving me insane. I'd go up there and speak some sense into them, into them myself, but my knees just aren't what they used to be. So, if you'd be so kind, could you hand them this formal letter of complaint? Sure thing, Gramps. Uh, thank you for the trouble. Oh boy. Okay, we've got another... Let's see, now how do I get up there? Can I jump that high? No. Alright, cool. Alright, let's see if I can jump. There we go. Oh, we got a... I think that's one of the coins. Let's take a look. Yeah, this coin is so heavy it must be made out of some super metal. Alright, well that was lucky. Okay, now... I have no idea how I'm supposed to get up... like, anywhere. Okay, so there's Egbert. So where would his neighbor be? Or how would I get up there? That's the question. Oh man, I don't have the slightest idea how to get on any of these upper levels here. Oh, I see another coin. Straight ahead. And I have, again, no clue how to get there. Um, okay, let's jump down. Oh, I can jump on the flowers? Oh gosh, I think I'm stuck. Okay. Alright, there's cedar again. I'm gonna see if I can jump on these flowers. I mean, it kind of seems like it. Yeah, there we go.
But I think that might be as high as we can go. Okay, now who is this? Hi. What do you want? Ooh, Irene is friendly. I'm a little busy right now. Come back later. Hey, okay, icebreaker patch. Alright, well, she's a little rude, but at least we got a patch. And a coin. Let's see which one this is. The flower coin. Alright, so the other one we need is still way over there. Now I'm gonna see if I can glide over here. Awesome. All right, good deal. So we'll just kind of run across here and try not to fall. Oh, that's right. We can't go inside any of the houses, so I guess I just have to run around until I find someone outside. Here's another coin. The mushroom coin. I don't see Egbert anymore, so it's kind of difficult for me to tell where his upstairs neighbor would be. I do see someone we haven't spoken to yet, though. Okay, that is Egbert, so this would be, I guess, the upstairs neighbor. Can I get here? There we go. Oh, okay. I'm glad I tried that, because I almost <laughs> went back down. Kudos, kid. That was epic. Alright, here's Clarence. I like the spiked choker there. Wait, what? I'm getting up here without, you know, wings. Wings must be hella convenient. Getting anywhere is a breeze. Or should I say, on the breeze. You're funny, amigo. You're one of the male scouts, aren't you? Reporting for duty. So what's the sitch? That's what I said. Huh? When? Oh wait. I remember. <laughs> Nobody knows what they're talking about. Never mind, I don't. Well, I was talking to Egbert and I said, what's the sitch? I can't imagine the look on his face. He must have had the Gramps straight flabbergasted. Yeah, can't say he understood. He told me to hand you this. Blah blah blah, noise, music, blah blah, third strike, official warning. Those sure are a lot of words. Too bad I'm not reading them. There's music in my soul and I just gotta let it out. You feel me? No, that would be unprofessional. <laughs> oh, you're talking about the music thing. Well, I do also enjoy my tunes from time to time. Same, same, pal. 
but I can't help that my song isn't nice and chill. I'm just not like other birds. <laughs> just goofing. Other birds are chill. Even Kaz. Who? Don't worry about it. You'll run into him if you're cool enough. So what about Egbert's letter? Oh, just tell him, like, whatevs. Sadly, I can't deliver spoken word. Even something as moving as that. Well, um, will this do? This is a used napkin with crayon writing on it. And most importantly, a stamp. Well, I guess it qualifies as a letter according to the Mail Scout Handbook. I'll be on my way to Egbert. Hold up a sec, little buddy. Pro tip from the Clairmeister. Hold A to glide, glide down on the breeze. Nice and chill. Thanks, I'll give it a whirl. Okay. <laughs> So let's go ahead. We should be able to just kind of glide. Oh, look at all those flowers. That's so pretty. Let's go ahead and just glide on down. We'll head back to Egbert. Oh, I see someone we haven't spoken to yet. But I'll wait, though, because that will probably start another quest, and I want to... At least try to finish what we've started. Got a response from Clarence for you. They sent you this postage stamp and all. What else? Well, I never. I can't believe that scoundrel. If they won't listen, I will have to escalate the situation. I really hoped I wouldn't have to do this. For their and my own sake. I must file a formal complaint to our landlord. Wow, that's quite a drastic move, my guy. Um, I mean, are you sure, my good client? Patron? Sir? I had hoped it wouldn't come to this, but it must be done. Well, anyway, can you take this to Kiki? Oh, not Kiki again. You already had it filled out? Well. Yeah. They weren't going to listen anyway. Could have saved me a trip up that tree. But wasn't it a great learning experience? And what will I learn from talking to your landlord? Bureaucracy? Surely there's one of those patches for that. Um, don't fuss about it. With all this experience, you're sure to earn some kind of patch. I'd better. <laughs> Alright, so we need to go deliver this to Kiki, but I think I want to handle the coin situation before I go back and talk to him. So we do have to find one more. And I'm gonna look up. I'm not sure if the one that I found up high initially was the same one that I saw. my gosh okay that was so lucky I was trying to get on top of this log and I missed <laughs> and the other coin was inside All right we've earned the adventurer patch all right cool so we have uh, that was the earth coin so now we have all four we can head back and talk to Cedar. Oh, Mal, Mal. Do you have all the coins? Yep, all four. Hot diggity dog. You are amazing, fantastic, stunning, breathtaking, and I will never forget this. 
Here, I've written an apology note to Kiki. Could you take that and the coins back to him? Maybe now I can still make it out of this alive. Turns out you're not only a male scout in training, but also a lucky charm prevention service. Seems there's good money in that. It's my first day and I'm already holding a bag of priceless coins. <laughs> oh no, now I'm nervous again. Please bring the note and the coins to Kiki. I got it covered, Cedar. Alright, cool. So we have two letters to get to Kiki. And which way... I'm really going to have to get acclimated to this um, layout here. Alright, that's Egbert. I don't think I have been this way, but I see something shiny over there. Let's see, can I... Cool, looks like a bottle cap. Hey, maybe for something later. Okay, so I think... Maybe Kiki was this way? Oh my goodness. Y'all, I'm so lost. Oh, help. Okay, there we go. It's actually just on the other side of that tree. I have them. My coins. I guess you are at least a little capable. And there's a note from Little Cedar too. Let's see what she has to say for herself. Shoot. This kid, kid clearly respects me. Not sure why. And she obviously loves the coins. Aw, oh, darn it. I'm gonna do something I said I would never do. Oh, what? Scout, this collection, although priceless, none of these coins are really important. This one, though, this is my favorite coin. The first coin I ever earned. Selling apple juice as a kid. As a kid, I was writing my own letters to deliver. I'm sure that made you rich, like my apple juice stand made me. Oh, well. Even though this coin means a lot to me, it shouldn't be gathering dust. It should live on in a new collection. Bring this coin to Cedar. Oh, and this letter, too. You know, a please wouldn't hurt. But I'll do it for Cedar. Collectible... Koban coin? Okay, coin connoisseur patch. Alright, so we also have to give Kiki another letter. Hi! Scram, kid, I'm busy. Unless you've got something for me, don't bother me. Well, you've got mail. Correspondence from your loyal tenant, Egbert. Who? A squirrely looking feller. He requires your aid in settling a pressing interpersonal dispute. <laughs> what? It's a formal noise complaint against Clarence. Oh, uh, okay. Go ahead and file it with the rest of the complaints. Oh boy. And where would those be? Alright, so those are all of the the things that we found lying around. 
and I guess they will be for other characters later. And then here is the collectible coin that we have to give to Cedar. Alright, so here is our other stuff. Okay, for Cedar from Kiki, for Kiki from Egbert. I thought we did that already. Okay, there we go. Just had to start over. It's kind of important. Why? Shouldn't you be invested in the well-being of your tenants? Kid, I'm invested in my investments. Property. Capital. Wealth. As long as they pay their rent, I could care less. Isn't it couldn't care less? <laughs> could care less suggests you care at least a bit. You're running me around in circles. Go run in circles elsewhere. You want a letter to deliver? Here, it's for Egbert. Scurry along. Shoo! <laughs> Beer crap patch. Alright, these patches are... Whoa. Sorry about that. These patches are coming in pretty easily. I like this. I didn't count to see exactly how many there are, but maybe we can collect them all. Alright, so let's go ahead and give Cedar a coin. Give it to me straight, Scout. Will I live to see another day? How about you read this and find out for yourself? Oh, nuts. <laughs> Holy pie in the sky! Did he... Did he really? Yep, he did. Mal, I have my first coin! But what are you gonna name your coin? Are you supposed to name them? I don't know, but it feels right to me. Well then, I'll name this coin Mal. Aww. Because you saved me from being turned into a lucky charm. Oh, another thing. Here, take this drawing I made. Huh. Oh. Cedar's drawing. Oh, that's nice. Oh, is that Kiki holding the coin? That's cool. Now you'll have something to remember this by as well. Thanks, Cedar. That's so kind of you. All the thanks are yours. Now I must direct my full attention to Mal. Oh, Coin Mal, I mean. I got that. See you later. Okay, so we got... Do we have another thing here? For Daisy from Cedar. Bring the collected items to Daisy. I haven't even met Daisy yet. Who is that? Alright, interesting. Alright, but let's go ahead and find Egbert again. And we will deliver the letter from Kiki. That cat's going to get what's coming to him sooner or later. Ooh, that's aggressive. Please don't fight my landlord. How do you respond? Something about how he's a big capitalist egghead. Oh, Annie gave me this letter. Oh? Your complaint has been noted. We are looking into it. Until further notice, he didn't read the letter, did he? No, I don't think so. Unbelievable. You know, back in my day, we had manners. Did you? Me? Well, no. 
I was quite the impressive bad boy. Oh gosh, if I do say so myself. Oh dear heavens, Annie, I just remembered. Our anniversary is today. I got so caught up in all this that I let it slip again. It's hard to think straight with all that noise. Could you please take this note to Annie for me? She's over at the farm with Daisy. Okay. Awesome, so we'll meet Daisy too. Sure. And please don't let her know about all this. No problem. Be back in a jiffy. And Scout of the Day patch. Love it. So let's take a look. All right, so in our inventory, we've got the applewood, grape soda bottle cap, and cedar's drawing. And we have to give that to Daisy. Nope, did not mean to do that. Okay, our deliveries. So we need to take a letter to Annie from Egbert. And I guess we have to... Oh, we have to give up our drawing that Cedar made for us. That stinks. But we have to give that to Daisy, and we still haven't heard anything about Greg. I don't... Is that like our... Or is that going to end up being like the final task kind of thing? Like the ultimate goal is to deliver the letter to Greg. But we find all these people and side quests along the way. Maybe that's how this works. Okay, let's look at our patches here. Okay, so Icebreaker, 5 out of 5 animals top 2. 10 out of 10 letters delivered, scout of the day. Bureaucrat, uh, file an official letter of complaint. Zero letters filed. Well, how did I earn the badge if I didn't file anything? Okay, stamped and signed, deliver your first letter. Take over 15 minutes to deliver a letter. <laughs> Whoops. Find five trinkets. And if I can get to Coin Connoisseur, collect five rare coins. All right. Yeah, I think we're doing pretty well with this. We've got a few more to go. Six, nine, 10, 12, 15, 16 more. Maybe that won't be too bad. But you guys, that is my first little look at Mail Time. I think this is such a cute game. If I can figure out this camera thing like that, see, I'm not even pressing anything. It's turning around by itself. But anyway, guys, like I said, I'm going to um, go ahead and end this right here. I enjoyed this game, so I think I will play some more. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching as well. Please be sure to give the video a thumbs up. Comment down below, let me know what you think, and if you would like to see some more of Mail Time on the channel. Um, those comments and the thumbs up, those let me know what you guys want to see and what you're enjoying. Also, um, if you have not already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. We are trying to get up to a thousand subscribers, so I would really appreciate the help. All right, guys. Well, again, thank you so much for watching. I really appreci appreciate you guys hanging out with me. I will see you in the next video. Bye!